Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you some different techniques on how to model roof constructions. So the first type of roof I will show you is how to model a gable roof. And we will go to the architecture menu, select roof and roof by footprint. And we can either type in an overhang or I will just keep the 500 millimeters. And then we need to make sure that we have marked defined slope. And then hit the facade walls, then unclick the defined slope, and afterwards select the gable walls. Then we can accept it. And we can see in the 3D view that we now have a roof sloping. In this case, we have a slope of uh, 30 degrees. But if we want to change the slope, we can go to properties. And scroll down a bit and then we can type in for example 45 degrees if i want the, the walls to extend all the way to the roof i will select all the all of the walls and then i can select the tool called attach top and afterwards select the roof and now all the walls are connected to the roof So the next roof is uh, the hip roof, meaning that we will have a slope in both the facade walls but also the gable walls. So again we will select the roof by footprint and make sure that we have marked defined slope. And then we will just select all of the walls and accept it. And now we have a hip roof, which we can see in the 3D model. The next one I will show, show you is the shed roof, meaning that we will have a slope um, in one direction. So in this case, I want the top point of the roof to be um, in the south um, elevation. So again, I will go to the architecture menu, select roof by footprint. And in this case, I will unclick the defined slope and just select all of the walls. And to create the slope, I can use the, the slope arrow. Place it like this. So this will be the top point. And I can select the offset height. So if I want the offset of um, from the top of the wall to the roof, let's say I want to, to have it 2 meters, I can type in the offset to 2000 and hit apply and I will accept it. And if we go to the 3D view, we can now see that we have a roof sloping in one direction. And again I can select all of the walls and then attach to top and select the roof and now all the walls are connected to the roof another roof type is uh, the intersecting roof so for this part I will create a gable roof and later connect it to a small roof on this part of the building so first I will create the gable roof just mark the defined slope and select the facades, unclick the defined slope and select the gable walls. And now we'll just extend this line so it will uh, connect to the line of the gable roof. And I can use the trim extend to corner. Select this line and then this line. And I will accept it. And the next step is to make a small roof for this part right here. So again, go to Architecture, select Roof by Footprint. And in this case, I don't want a slope in the front part of the wall. And then I will select Define Slope, like this. And then I want to join these two lines, but I just want to move it downwards a bit. 
just like this and I will select a line just to create a close shape then I will just select this line and then unclick define slope then I will accept it and if we go to the 3D view then the next step is to connect the two walls or the two roofs and if I select the roof then we have a tool um, to join and unjoin roofs. Select it. And when I zoom in in the 3D model, I will just select this line right here. And then select the roof. And now the two roofs are connecting. And again, I can just select the walls and then attach them to the roof. Just like this. So the last one I will show you is how to create a curved roof. You can just get the view. And for this one we will again go to the architecture menu. But this time we will select the roof by extrusion. And I will just select the pick, pick a plan and say OK. And just click on um, the east elevation. Select east elevation and open view and OK and now I can design the roof and in this case I want to have a curved roof so I will show, I will select uh, one of the curves or the radius here and just draw the shape of the roof Just select it and just edit it a bit. So that will be the shape of my roof and I will just accept it. And let me just open the, the 3D view. And in this case we can see that the roof extended too far. But if I select the roof then we can see that um, it actually have a length of more than 41 meters but I wanted to stop at the um, gable wall so let me just select the roof and then I can use the align tool click on the gable wall and then on the roof I can just lock it and again I can just select all of the walls and hit escape and then attach to top and then the roof, all of the walls will be connected to the roof. But this was just some principles on how you can model different type of roofs. Um, and hopefully you can use this for your semester project.